remember walking a bee is going to give you the purest sense of what it's like to really be a cop. I can give you quizzes till they're coming out of my ears, turning blue. I'm not going to teach you how to be a cop. You're just going to have to do it, do it till you get it right. And judging from this sorry lot in this classroom, it's going to take a lot of doing. Also, I want you to remember you're going to have to start paying attention to how to follow rules and procedures because the police department has got one for everything, including getting married, Mr. Jones. <laughs> I understand you're taking the plunge on graduation day. Uh, yes, sir. Major plunge. Uh-huh. I assume you've done a little research on the uh, proper ceremony. Oh, uh, well, we're sort of trying to keep it separate from the graduation ceremony, sir. Oh, no, no, that's not possible, not allowed. Didn't you read the uh, nuptial chapter in your textbook? Nuptial? Mm -hmm. I missed that one, sir. Oh, yeah. Well, let me give you a little demonstration here with the uh, cadets. Why don't you come up here and form two rows? At attention, with your batons crossed. Now, uh, the nuptial couple will uh, walk through this... Uh, Pardon the expression, the honor guard. And uh, why don't you take your place, Jones? <laughs> I'd, I'd really rather not, sir. Uh, <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. This is not multiple choice. Hey. <laughs> Once in a lifetime. I'm going to get you off of this, okay? <laughs> nice. Come on. Back here? Yeah, that's right there. Yeah. Right on through. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sir, don't we need a bride? Yeah. Frisco looks like, yeah. like he got uh, stood up at the altar. Yeah, you're right. We can't have that. Uh, yeah, Miss Wells. Why don't you fill in for Miss Felicia? Oh, I don't think so. You know what they say, sir. Always a patrol woman, never a bride. Oh, uh, you. <laughs> Come on, Come on. Let's go. Give us a break. Yeah. All right. Yeah. There we go. We got it together now. Yeah. Da dum, da dum, da dum, da dum, da dum, da dum. Felicia? Felicia! Come on, get back in the classroom. Well, I'm trying to find my fiance, sir. Yeah, well, she's gone, right? Yeah. Yeah, she ran out of here after she saw her little... Whatever you call it in there. Uh, I look, look, look. Hey, come on now, look. She's just gonna have to get used to that. Let her cool off a little bit. We'll give you both a little bit of time. She should realize we're just having a little bit of fun. It was at her expense, sir. All right, I'm sorry if I put you in the doghouse. But look, she's just gonna have to get used to the idea that your time on the job is separate from your life together. She's not used to it. It's gonna be tough for her. Well, you're just gonna have to get used to it and work it out together. The world can't stop every time you two have a little disagreement. Work it out, Jones. Then you heard about Felicia's wedding. Yeah. Amy, that's hardly hot news. Oh, then you already know they're planning on having it at the Brownstone. Well, isn't that where they live? Yeah. I just think it's very brave of them to have it in that place, that's all. Now, what's that supposed to mean? Well, correct me if I'm mistaken, but I think there were at least two murders there. Of course, maybe a wedding will take the curse off the place, right? Amy. Well, not that it isn't a really nice house to have a wedding in and everything. You know, I mean, there's that great staircase. Felicia gets to walk down the staircase. All brides should enter from the staircase, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Amy. You know where Bobby is? Yeah. Something wrong? Well, I just need to let her know that the surgery schedule for this afternoon has been postponed. The patient's blood pressure is too high. Well, well, so is Bobby's. She had it out with Patrick a little while ago. Rick, uh, Bobby's in there with Buzz. I'll get it for you. Thank you very much, Brent. We don't have anything planned for dinner this evening. We're having a little celebration at the house. What's the occasion? Mike's coming home. I knew he would change his mind. Don't get too excited. It's, uh, Lorena is going to Omaha to help Derek get situated, and Mike will be staying with us during the transition period. You're not going to let him move away, are you? Without a fight, no. Better. Amy, has uh, scheduling called you yet? No, why? Well, uh, you've pulled inventory duty. Uh, we're doing a count of the drug supplies. But I just did it. Yes, I know. And you did such a good job 
that you've been invited to do it again. That is not true. The only reason is because none of the nurses with seniority will do it. Be there or be square, Amy. Rick, uh, could you uh, spare a little time this afternoon for a visit to Kelly's? Well, I was planning on having dinner at home tonight. What, uh, what's up? Well, it's an official visit. You see, it uh, seems that Ruby and Lila have started some kind of cottage industry in Ruby's kitchen. They've applied for a city permit. So, as building commissioner and health commissioner, I think we ought to check it out personally. You're not kidding me, right? No, it's for real. <laughs> I don't uh, like to, uh, you know, put the kibosh on free enterprise, but uh, the city has rules about this kind of thing. Hey, oh, take a break. It's one of the benefits of our union. Uh, yeah, look, I've got to make a phone call. I'll meet you in a minute, all right? All right, we'll be at the donut shop down the street. You got it. I'd like to speak to Anna Devane, please. Tell her it's Jimmy Lee Ho. No, no, it's personal. Okay, I'll wait. Hello, Jimmy Lee. Is it Buzz? No, no, Anna. Buzz is fine. Actually, this has to do with Sean. I want you to bring a couple of your cops down to his warehouse. For what reason? Well, I have reason to believe that he's illegally importing goods into this country. That's a very serious charge, Jimmy Lee. I don't think that Sean would be involved with something like that. Look, Anna, you know as well as I do that Sean has been on the wrong side of the law before. Yes, but I just hope that you're wrong about this. Then you're going to come down. I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay, I'll wait. Felicia. Didn't expect to see you. I just came back from my house. You mean your bail? Crisco felt very badly about you walking in on us like that. I know what it must have looked like, but it was all just a joke. I'm sorry if your feelings were hurt, and I... I would understand if you don't want me to be a bridesmaid anymore. Sam, I felt so stupid. You know, I thought I was over this whole jealousy thing, and then I walk in the door, and it's staring at me in the face again. Well, don't be so mad at yourself. I would have done exactly the same thing. Really? Sure. You have so much on your mind, all these wedding plans swimming around in your head. You know, it's a wonder you haven't lost it before this. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. You're going to feel so much more secure with this wedding behind you. I've seen my sisters-in-law go through the same thing time and time again. You know, as a matter of fact, I should actually introduce you to them. They could be able to give you some tips on being a cop's wife. That'd be great. But I'm not going to be anybody's wife unless I find Chris Gust. 